CETV presents week four of America's favorite virtual sports entertainment program, Chow Racing 2023. Everyone is on the clock and ready to go. Let's have a chow race! Let the month may bring you in full blue for the chow racing in the best fans at Chips Bay, Peter Falls, Michael Clayton, and any bond grubber push the balls to your side hoping they may walk away with a win. And here they come, they're getting away to a stage right now, and Peter Falls gets the win over Michael Clayton to start on week four. And now, here is your host, Brennan Shining! Hello, Chow Racing Universe! Welcome to another edition of Chow Racing 2023, America's favorite virtual sports entertainment program. Please say hello to my player by player announcer, Paul Sagamore. The weather is mighty fine for the month of May, and we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy these challenges as far as, as, far as we can watch hosting our show. Congratulations to Peter Falls on the first win on the power course. We'll be back with race number two after this one from our sponsor. Week 4 of Chow Racing 2023 is sponsored by Downey, makers of fine fabric softener products. So, Brandon Jennings and Paul Sycamore are ready to call all the action on this lovely May Day here in the Charlie Stadium as we proceed now to race number two, Paul. Okay, for race number two, we have Ricky Nelson, Raymond Hill, Bryson Dorns, and Joshua Salmore. This is the first Amphis Quest race of the week. So, good luck to these four players on their quest for victory. Everyone is on the clock, and please start the race! Alright, let's see who's got what it takes to bring home a win in the scoreboard for this week. And it looks like number one of the Silver Challenge scored the best. Vicky Nelson currently leading over Raymond and Bryson, who are currently bowing for second, and with Joshua Samuel. And Bryson is heading for the water. The other three are sticking with the bridges, as the first superstar gets beat us this week, is Joshua Salmore. <clears throat> At number 7 and 8 of the Silver Shower heading for the water, along with joining Bryson Dawns in the water. Will sign they're going to rest as Vicky Nelson takes b number 2. He and Raymond are catching on to Bryson as they make their way towards the goal line. But I think Bryson is going to survive, yep. Bryson's going to hold on for the victory here, folks. Bryson Dawns survives to win this one. At number two is Gates. Trying all on last place will get the last viewers. So Bryson Dawson now improves to the 500 mark. That's why he is 2-2 two two as of this week. And will be in the next anticipated race of the week after these messages. Okay, time for the next race of week four's action, Paul. And for race number three, we have Leon Onesta. Brooks Robinson, Corey Sanchester, and Ernie Zanchev. So we go to the Sapphire course now, and here's a look at the lineup. Let's find out which main day affair will be a celebrating affair for one of these superstars here in the Chow Racing Universe. Let's mock this play! Alright, there they go. At number 8 and number 7 are going to best. Leon Curry leading over. Brooks Robinson, who, is who went down for the count. Brooks is trying to maintain momentum over Leon at the current moment. Ooh, the competition is heating up. And now they're making their way to a star wall. And down goes Leon for the count. Leon and Brooks are bowing out at the wall. And number seven will start with PS for this face. That will be enough to take the lead over the force to a child in the back. And down goes number one as he bows for number A for two life. All the way in the back. They're climbing up the storm wall as the superstar to get speed race number two is our newcomer, Ernie, Ernie Zonchev. But will it be enough to make the pass from our current leader, Leon? I don't know. They're making their way towards home stretch at the current moment. And it's going to be a close one. They're all neck to neck, heading into the finish line. 
ass number two. Wow, the next class, we see that's my nearest home. And here comes Corey making the pass from both Leon and Ernie. It's going to be down to the wire for all four of us to size here. And Corey signs just the wins, just as Ernie got Beavers. Well, we got the win here, folks. Yes, I agree with you. What a close one. Lots more fun under this announcement. Stay tuned. We're enjoying this lovely May Day sunshine here in the virtual Chowie Stadium, and this race promises a ray of sunshine no matter where you live in the real world. Paul? Okay, race number four will have Daniel Heenan, Thomas Linkrider, Kenny Days, and KC Richardson on the Ruby course. So, this is a test of swimming on each race on the Ruby course, and this one guarantees a ray of sunshine for all the Chow Racing fans in the real world and in the virtual Chowie Stadium. Let's have a challenge! And KC is one of us. That'll give Daniel Thomas and Kenny the opening edge. And here comes Kenny leading the way over Daniel as they swim across the pool area. That's all they have to do on each race on the movie course. If no one gets a speed bus, Kenny is going to hold off Daniel for the victory. And there you have it, folks. Kenny Davis gets the victory here as KC gets the speed bus. So now, Kenny Days is 3-1 after 4 weeks. That's right, a good start so far by Kenny Days. Back in the bed, do not go away! Alright, Paul, let's continue week 4's program with base number 5. I'm sure they'll understand pretty much. It's Jane Flanningham, Dominic P. Harrells, Vance Alfred Porters, and Dick Steiner for race number five on this next race on the power course. We place the balls on the field once again and wish these next week for a job. Best of luck. Please start the race. All right, so they push the balls on the side and the first one they cross the finish line. Regardless of the standing, we'll be declaring the winner. They're pushing the balls with all their might. And here comes Shane leading the way over the competition at the finish line. Shane Flanningham wins. Shane got it here tonight. That's right, Paul. Shane Flanningham gets his first win of his 2023 season. And there's more seven coming up. Don't go away. And now we have our defending world champion with us for race number six, Paul. That's right. Rowdy Justice takes on our defending world champion, Bobby K, along with the hard chain master, Ethan Kingston, currently sitting at 3 0, and Ben Henderson. As we go back to the Athens course, Bobby and Ethan have pretty much been on a hot streak. Let's see which one will, will really keep up with the winning streak game. Everyone is on a clock, so without further ado, Please start the base! Alright, Bobby K going for his third win while even going for his fourth straight win of the 2023 seasons. Bobby K's speed is all to an excellent start. Riley trying to catch up with Bobby K as he enters the bridges. And who got the first speed bus? It is the Hard Chain Master, Ethan Kingsley, trying to catch up to Bobby K. Bobby K is zooming like crazy, and a couple still shower at the water path, trying to catch up with the rest of the pack in a hurry. And Riley Justice will have the next command. Yes, Bobby K is going to rest, but he should be able to hold off Ethan and Ben for the victory. Yep, Bobby's going to survive here, folks. As number one takes Beamers, Bobby K did hold on for the victory. So now Bobby K is 3 and 1 in his World to Repeat campaign. That's right, congratulations on order for you, Bobby. Lots more fun for the second half of Week Force action after these words from our sponsors. Welcome back to our program, ladies and gentlemen. We are now in the second half of Week Force action, and here's what race number seven has to unfold. Paul? Alright, race number 7 will have Buster Jarrell sitting pretty at 3 0, Eli Hauser, Alex Marcuson, and 2022 world champion Ozzy Jenkins. 
So the next race is going to be held on the east side fire course. Will Bustle get a four straight win or will one of the others who approve the 500? There's only one way to find out. Let's have a challenge! Alright, there goes the HL. Bussing wild down the aisles. And it looks like number eight is quarter rest. And so is Buster the Jabo. A liar, Alex, and Ozzy bowing for the lead up in the front. And it looks like a liar is pausing for a moment. Ozzy is bowing Alex for the lead up in the front. And we'll soon know who will come out on top. As the first superstar to get speed best is number eight. Who desperately needs to catch up every now and then. That will be enough to take the lead on the fourth third child for the coming moment. Alex and Ozzy have reached the top of the wall. And now I'm quickly passing the wall phone. They want to get a win to get a qualify for more championship. And here's Lion Housen with Speedbus number two catching up to Buster John for third place. And there goes Ozzy making the pass from Alex. Ozzy's going to get it the job done here, folks. As number one will have the next command Spears. Ozzy's going to get another win closer towards his second title in three seasons. Ozzy Jenkins is our winner. The chanting goes on for Ozzy no matter what happens. As the last Spears win made by a lot of and making his second Spears of the race. The chance worked out for Ozzy Jenkins today. That's why right. Let's hope for the very best next time. And there's more seven coming up. Do not go away. And now, it's last season's runner-up to simple it up, race number 8. That's correct. Jack Parson will be taking on Bruno Alonso, OG Upton, and Kim Diggersberg in our second Ruby Course Contest of the day. So, the players are lined up and ready to go. Everyone is on the clock, and let's rock this fight! And Kim Diggersberg is one of us. That means he'll be left behind in the competition for a while. And OJ Upton is a pretty good swimmer up in the front. OJ trying to maintain momentum over the other two competitors. Over Jack and Bruno at the current one. No one's going to get Spira, so OJ is going to get another win for his 2023 season. OJ Upton wins. Good performance by OJ today. As Kim Diggersberg will get the one to us. OG up is now at the 500 mark. That's why he's 2-2 two and two and we'll have another side race for you after we find out a word from this. Alright folks, we still need to get through a few more races before our main event for week 4 this week. So let's do race number 9 next. Alright, next up we have Patrick Garner, Barry Winfred, Tate Miller, and Eric Crosby for race number 9. We go back to the park course, so let's place the balls one last time this week and wish these four child best of luck. Here's a look in the lineup, and let's send them down back to the field. Who's got the might to earn a W? We'll find out. Please start the race! They're approaching the balls in all of my, but only one will emerge victorious in the very end. Patrick and Barry bowing for the outside rainbow path, and Patrick is going to rest. That'll get Barry Kamea on the lead, and Barry Winfred holds off Eric Frosty to win this one. Barry Winfred gets his second win of his career today. That's why he's now at 500, and there's more something coming up to not go away. And now we are come to race number 10 of week 4's action. Alright, race number 10 will feature Mitch Carmel, Rusty Jackerton, Garrett Dayton, and Larry Monroe. And don't forget folks, still to come in the main event, Gary Gulls is going for his 4th straight win, and his 2nd straight Superstar of the Week honors. So don't miss out. Back to the office course we go. And let's have a look at the lineup as they enter the Chowry Stadium for the week. And let's send them out to the field again. I wish these four Chow best of luck on their continuing quest. Please start the race! Alright! You know what to do on the Athens course. Take the water path or stick with the bridges. And right now it looks like 
Larry and Mitch are both going to rest. Rusty Jackets and Curry has the lead, and he will pass a couple of Super Chan who are also going to rest. Rusty is taking the warp path, and he paid off the shortcut nicely, just like that. As Mitch Carmel takes the first few rounds of the space, Rusty's gonna win an easy one, no, no doubt about it. Rusty Jackson with his shortcut strategy wins race number 10 this week. And Larry Marlowe with a pity speed bus that time. Oh well, there's always a number time. And poor number one is getting left behind from number two. And down he goes for the count. He's getting strapped behind the competition. Well, he's going to get the next command speed bus. Larry Marlowe came in second. And it looks like Mitch Carmel is going to wind up in third place. Hey, nice job, Musty. You got the win today. That's right. Our dominating win by Musty Jackson leads us to our next commercial break. We'll be back with some 11 after this. Alright, time for race number 11 of our program. That's right, one more race before we have our main event for the week. This next one will have Tess Ebert, TJ Edwards, Donald Rennings, and Ramwin Rashanti on the sapphire, of course. So while Gary Coles prepares to exit the locker room and defend his Superstar Week title, who's going to win this one? Please start the race! Okay, here comes the eight Chow, and TJ is quarterback, so he'll be left behind in the competition for a while. Ramon Vaughn is off to an excellent start. He is battling with number one, and Tess and Donald for the lead up in the front. And who got the first speed race this time? It's going to be TJ Edwards, who with that sweep earlier on in the race. Now he's trying desperately to catch up to the crowd. And poor number seven is stranded in last place in the back of the pack. But it's number two who leaves number eight in the dust with speed number two of this race. And right now it is Vaughn who still has command on the lead. Donald Manning's not too far behind in second place. Looks like Tess is going to mess. As the next BS we made by number two. He leads over the four silver child with fourth place. And right now, Donald has made the pass from Raven Bar Shorty. Donald Manning's trying to defend the lead heading into the goal line. And T Tess Evan with Speamers trying a little flying off course. And Donald Manning holds off Raven Bar Shorty with a boot of 500. And Tess Evan will get back to back Spears. He will lead number 70 in the dust. So, Donald Mennings is going to celebrate his victory for the moment. That's right, and now Gary Coles is exiting the locker room with the main event after the break. Stay tuned. And now, folks, I do believe it's time to say it's main event time for this week. Right, Paul? Right. And our returning champion is Gary Coles. We were sitting in an impressive 3-0 record heading into this week. This week's challengers are Steve Robinson, Austin Jarrells, and Noah Helms. And week 4's main event is presented by Coors Like, a salt drink made to chill. Gary Coles has been on a hot streak for the first three weeks of play. Will it continue in week 4? He's going for his second Superstar Week honors. Remember that they're allowed to have up to three Superstar Week honors in a row. So don't forget about that. Anyway, good luck to our four main event participants this week, and please start the race! Alright. So Gary Coles trying to make it 4-0. Trying to become the sole possession, the sole undefeated superstar for the 2023 season. And right now, they're shaking the palm trees, they're going to eat the food. And there goes Gary battling with Steven up in the front with... No one helps not too far behind in second place. And it looks like Steven and No one are heading for the Y here, folks. As number seven will start because he is gonna pass number one who is going to pass over at the bridges. Steven and No one making his way towards the other side of the Y path. As number one takes BS number two, but it, that was a pity right there that time. And uh oh! Guess who's spoiling Gary's undefeated run? It's Austin Gerald's. He took a shortcut here, folks. As the next PS we made by number seven. Now trying to regain the lead over the fourth of the shot hand number two. 
And right now, Gary Cross has even more trouble because Steven and Nolan are right ahead of him battling for second place. Oh, Gary Cross might need a miracle to repeat at Superstar Week. Well, he's going to get the next command for us, but will it be enough to catch all the way in the first place? We'll soon know. Point number one and point number eight really need some help. They are getting straight in last place. But let's head back to Gary Cross. He made the pass from both Steve and Nolan, but he still has to get through. Austin Gerald's who is leading, heading into home stretch, and it looks like Gary decided to take a rest. So, Austin will have a little bit of breathing room ahead of the competition for a little moment. Next BS belongs to number one. That makes his second speed by the base, and Gary's going to pass Steven his corner rest, but I don't think he's going to catch up to Austin Gerald's. No, he's going to fall short. So as number seven gets his first three bus on the base, it's gonna be Austin Gerald, who's gonna be the new Superstar Week champion for Week 4 show. So much for Gary Cross undefeated run, but he still won three races, and of course he's still got a long way to go this season. As the last speed bus on this week will be made by No One Helps. Alright, so Austin Gerald is the new Superstar of the Week. That's why right, and we'll be back back to cross our show in a bit. Do not go away. Well, it's been fun having you all for the ride, but now it's time for us to sign off for the week. Thanks for watching our Chow Racing Show this week, and again, we'd like to congratulate our new Superstar Week champion, Austin Generals, who is expected to come back on our next main event next week. This is Brian Chang signing off, reminding you to join us every Sunday for all the fun and excitement of Chow Racing 2023. Keep on smiling, hope your May is shining bright, and so long, everybody! Chow Racing 2023 has been sponsored by Downey and Coors Light. This is Paul Sagamore speaking. We'll see you next week for the next exciting edition of America's favorite virtual sports entertainment program, Chow Racing 2023! Channel Racing 2023 has been a CETV production.